Okay, so I just want to do a short video today uh, on exporting a file out of CounterSketch and importing that file into Matrix and just the differences between exporting an STL file or a 3DM file. So at the moment we've got this particular ring here um, and say for example we wanted to separate the head section from the shank, maybe it's going to be a two-tone piece for example. So we're going to um, go into the order function, the order page here, and after it's finished calculating the metal weight, uh, we can go to our export STL 3DM option here. So when we click on that button, it's going to bring up a little window, and the first thing that we'll notice is we've got uh, in our design options our default settings or extend prongs. Now at the moment it's on default, that's what it looks like um, when you're showing the customer, you know, they don't necessarily want to see extended prongs or anything like that. Uh, because guaranteed they're going to ask is that what it's going to look like so uh, what we need to do for manufacturing purposes is click on extend prongs what that's going to do is exactly that it will extend all of those claws and any of those prongs uh, it won't do this for every single design if the um, if the the claws or the prongs are an integral part of the design then it will not extend them and that's uh, where you've got to go into a third party software such as matrix to uh, extend those uh, if you wish. Next thing that we need to take account of is our stone options. Now as a general rule of thumb I tend to select all of these options whether we have accent or side stones there or not. Uh, I just think it's a, uh, a good option just to keep all of those uh, selected. Now, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to export this as a 3DM file. Uh, a 3DM file is necessary if we do need to make changes to this. So, for example, if we do want to change uh, anything on this particular ring, or maybe we want to separate the head section from the shank, we need to export it as a 3DM. So I'm going to export that now and just take it to my desktop there. Once that's finished exporting, I'm going to select the STL option. And I'm going to make sure that Repair Mesh is checked as well. And what that's going to do is it's going to provide us with a watertight mesh basically ready for 3D printing. So we're going to export that guy as well. Okay, so once that's finished exporting, we can then open up our Matrix software just to give you an example of how this is going to work. So we're going to go to File and Open. And I'm going to select uh, the file, this one here that we exported out of CounterSketch. I'm just going to restore those viewports so you can see what's going on. Okay, so we can see here that we have our 3DM file. I'm just going to hide this for a second. And now I'm going to import that STL file that we had. And uh, it'll be that one there. <clears throat> All right, so here's this one here that we exported. So I'm just going to move that out of the way and bring back the 3DM that we had. Now you can see the differences between the two. Um, we have our STL option here, which is made up of tiny little triangles. And if we were to try to select the head section here, we're not going to be able to. The whole thing is one complete watertight surface. Whereas with our 3DM option, let's just turn off all of our stones for the moment. And you can see here that we can not only select our parts individually, but we can grab those. And um, that looks like there's an issue there. And we might just mirror that across. Select that and mirror around F4. And now, you know, we can do all kinds of things to this. So we can select these put those into the cutter window here. We can select our shank and put that into the object window, boolean that away. And what that means is we're going to have a remnant here that we can delete and on the opposite side. And we can select all of that and separate that without any issue. And we've got a nice area there that conforms to the outside of this setting here that you know should be able to um, you know fit in really quite nicely once it's come back from casting.
So they're the uh, they're the two differences. And so when you're exporting a file, it's always best to export a 3DM if you do need to do additional work to the piece. Um, if you don't, if everything's all good, export as STL with mesh repair option turned on, and you will have a fully watertight piece ready to 3D print. All right, I hope that helps.